There's a major type of food poisoning called salmonella. What actually is it? What are the symptoms? And how can you reduce your risk of actually contracting it? Well, salmonella are actually two species of bacteria which cause salmonellosis. This is basically any of the range of symptoms caused by the salmonella bacteria. Two species of salmonella are less familiar, Salmonella bongori, which derives its name from bongor, the species was first discovered. Bongori is mainly associated with cold blooded animals, and especially lizards, so it doesn't normally represent much of a threat to humans. But contact with cold blooded animals can transmit the bacteria to humans if cleanliness routines are not properly observed. The more familiar salmonella is Salmonella enterica, with enteric relating to the intestines. Bacteria is found in a wide variety of warm-blooded animals, especially farm animals like cattle and chicken, and also in some household pets like cats and dogs. Bacteria makes its way into the human intestines and will then multiply rapidly in what isn't actually an ideal environment for this bacteria. Bacteria multiply anywhere from half a day to three days after the original ingestion of the bacteria, symptoms like diarrhea, fever and vomiting can occur. Normally, however, these serum symptoms don't persist and don't represent any serious threat to the human body. The person will recover normally. However, the diarrhea can occasionally become excessive. Alternatively, the bacteria can migrate out of the small intestine and into other parts of the body. Alternatively, the infected person may actually have a compromised immune system. In these cases, antibiotics may be needed to treat the infection. Certainly, if symptoms persist longer than three days or they're rather severe, medical attention should be sought. All these symptoms are a result of live bacteria making it into the intestines. So in order to prevent this from happening, any salmonella bacteria that is actually present in the food must be killed off before it's consumed. Now, whilst freezing and refrigerating food will slow down the bacteria, it won't actually kill the salmonella bacteria. Instead, the normal method of ensuring that all the salmonella bacteria in the food are dead is heat, either by thoroughly cooking the food or by the process of pasteurization, especially so in eggs, meat and milk. Eating raw eggs or drinking raw or unpasteurized milk are major risks when it comes to food poisoning relating to salmonella. The other major issue is with cross-contamination. So for instance, you handle raw meat, then don't thoroughly wash your hands afterwards and transfer the salmonella bacteria to other meat to anything you then touch. Cross-contamination issue can also kick on things like chopping boards or even fridges if raw meat is stored higher than cooked food, particles from raw food dripping down onto the cooked food. It does mean though, if standard hygiene and cooking procedures are followed, there should be no need to worry about salmonella, at least most of the time.